Hello learners, this is Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Rao India 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given question. Here, I need to find out integral 0 to pi by 4 sin x plus cos x divided by 9 plus 16 sin 2x dx. Fine. <coughs> this is a little, not tough, but a tricky question. You should know how to solve this. This involves a very unique way of solving it. I mean, this is pretty different from the other questions which we have done so far. Now, how to solve this? For this, we need a special substitution. What is that means? What is that means? Okay, first I took the given integral as i. Okay. We need to take t as sin x minus cos x. Okay, we need to take t as sin x minus cos x. Now, how I got this idea why I feel it would be better if I just explain the sum rather than going into details. Right? If you want to know anything else, please come in the comments box. Now just differentiate both sides. Okay, just differentiate both sides of this t is equal to sin x minus cos. If I differentiate, what I'd get is dt is equal to dt is equal to derivative of sin x is cos x. So I have cos x. I'm just differentiating, so I have into dx as well. Okay. Likewise, uh, minus is there in between and derivative of cos x is minus sin x, okay, and then into dx, fine. because I'm just differentiating, I'm not just differentiating, I'm not differentiating with respect to x on both sides, I'm just differentiating, that's why this dx has come, okay. Chalo, so let's, if I'll simplify this, I'd get uh, cos x dx plus sin x dx, just take dx common, just take dx common, if that were the case, this is what I'd get. Now, if you see, if you see in the in the numerator, I have sin x plus cos x into dx. Okay, this one, sin x plus cos x, sin x plus cos x into dx. This will be okay. Uh, here I have cos x plus sin x. This I can just write it as sin x plus cos x dx. So instead of this entire numerator, I mean sin x plus cos x into dx. What I can write it as? I can write it as dt. Okay, chalo. Now my target is to convert everything in terms of t, okay, including the limits as well, including the limits as well, fine. Here my limits are for x, here my limits are for x, I want limits for t, what to do, see, when x is 0, x is going from 0 to pi by 4, when x is 0, what is our t, t is nothing but sin x minus cos x, right, so when x is 0, t will be sin 0 minus cos 0, sin 0 is 0, cos 0 is 1, so that's where 0 minus 1, which is nothing but minus 1, okay. I got my lower limit for t. Now, what is a, now upper limit of uh, for x is uh, pi by 4, okay. So, fine. So, when x is pi by 4, t will be nothing but sin pi by 4 minus cos pi by 4, which is nothing but 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2, which is 0, fine. So, fine. My upper limit for t is 0. So, my integral will be integral minus 1 to 0. This, fine. Now, now we got the numerator, we converted the limits, one more thing is left out. What is that one more thing is? If you see the denominator, it is 9 plus 16 sin 2x. I want to convert this to something like t because I want everything to change to t. Now to do that, to do that, what we need to do is just square this on both sides. This t is equal to sin x minus cos x, right? square it. Why? You will understand once I do it t square would be nothing but this. Now just use a minus b whole square formula and expand this. So this is what I'd get. a square plus b square minus 2ab. So sin square x plus cos square x minus 2 sin x cos x. Okay. Sin square x plus cos square x is 1. So I have t square is equal to 1 minus and 2 sin x cos x. 2 sin x cos x is nothing but sin 2x. Okay. Now I want to find out sin 2x. So send this minus sin 2x here and uh, that's what I have like t square plus sin 2x is 1. Now send this t square to the RHS. So sin 2x would be nothing but 1 minus t square. Fine. Chalo, I got sin 2x, but my target is to find out, my target is to find out this 9 plus 16 sin 2x. Let's find it out. So in place of uh, sin 2x, I mean 9 plus 16 sin 2x is nothing but sin 2x is 1 minus t square. So in, in place of that, I got this. Let's multiply 16 minus 16 t square. So 9 plus 16 is 25. 25 minus 16 t square. Chalo, now we are ready for our integration. You see, so instead of 9 plus 16 sin 2x, I have 25 minus 16 t square. As I already explained, once again, I am going to see. In, in place of this, I'd get dt, the circled part. 
in the limits will be changed to minus 1 and 0 and in place of 9 plus 16 sin 2x I have 25 minus 16 t square okay with all this with all this I am going to find out i with all this I am going to find out i okay so i is nothing but it will be this see so simple so easy looks a bit easy to integrate now okay now chalo 25 can be written as 5 square and 16 t square can be written as 4 t whole square now this is looking like some this is looking in a way that is familiar to us what integral dx by a square minus x square integral dx by a square minus x square it is similar to that now what is the formula for that like if i were to use that formula here what i would get is this just observe the formula first integral dx by a square minus x square is nothing but 1 by 2a log mod a plus x by a minus x plus constant fine okay now apply the same thing here see here my a here this is like 5 square 5 square is a square so a is nothing but 5 so 1 by 2a 1 by 2a 1 by 2 into 5 log mod a a is what 5 i explained a plus x x is 40 x is 40 uh, a plus x by a minus x so 5 plus 40 by 5 minus 40 now you might think okay formula is done but what is this 1 by 4 here what is this 1 by 4 doing from where from did this 1 by 4 come i'll explain to you as per our formula as per our formula it is integral dx by a square minus x square it is just x square it is not 2x whole square or 3x whole square it is just x square but here i have 4t whole square here i have 4t whole square so a 4 is uh, so if some 4 is extra now whenever we have some extras like this okay what what is this term like 4t whole square what is derivative of 4t okay if, what is derivative of 4t derivative of 4t is nothing but 4 derivative of 4t is nothing but 4 now whenever we integrate i mean like such kind of things like after the basic integration is done we need to divide with that derivative so this whole part this whole part divided by 4 that means into 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 fine that's what we need to do okay i hope my explanation was clear still if you have any doubts please come in the comments box i'll try my best to help you out there okay now fine uh, 2 5s are 10, 10 4s are 40, so 1 by 40 is a constant, it can be kept outside. And you see, uh, once I did my integration, the limits have come into picture in the square bracket at the edges. Fine, chalo, now we can start substituting the limits. Okay, first upper limit is 0, so first put 0, 1 by 40 into log 5. Wherever you see t, first put 0, and then minus log, wherever you see t, put minus 1 okay so first log plus 5 and 5 plus log of 5 plus 4 into 0 by 5 minus 4 into 0 minus log it's there i just explained fine i hope you already know the substitution of limits and all fine any doubts please come in the comments box okay i'll try my best to help you out there now basic simplification so 5 plus 4 into 0 is 0 so 5 plus 0 is 5 again down also it will be 5 log mod 5 by 5 and minus log mod 5 minus 4 by 5 plus 4 minus 4 into minus 1 is plus 4 so this is what i have okay so 5 ones are 5 ones are so log 1 minus log mod 1 by 9 okay, 5 minus 4 is 1 5 plus 4 okay now 1 by 9 is positive so i need not write mod from the next step okay and what is log 1 log 1 is 0 log 1 is 0 this one it is 0 fine so i have 0 minus 1 log 1 by 3 square 9 i am writing it as 3 square okay now 1 by 3 square can be written as 3 power minus 2 1 by 3 square can be written as 3 power minus 2 now in logarithms there is a property what does that property state that property states that log a power m is nothing but m into log a log a power m is nothing but m into log a in simple words what does this mean is that whenever there is a power like this like log of some number to the power this power will come adjacent I mean, okay will come beside it so minus of minus is there minus 2 has come here so minus 2 log 3 that's what i have okay chalo now if i have minus into minus is plus so 1 by 40 into 2 log 3, 2 1s are 2, 20s are, so 1 by 20 log 3. Fine, that's it. Thank you very much for staying with me up till now. 
uh, in case you like this video please hit the like button it will encourage me to make many more of such videos and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please do subscribe to it not just this question i made other questions related to definite integration and indefinite integration circles binomial theorem theorem of equations please do check out the description for some of the links fine thank you